Meanwhile, we told you the story yesterday about the New York woman who was murdered by her husband, who had been caught on video in a violent beatdown, and he was charged with a misdemeanor immediately under New York's no cash bail laws. He was released. What does he do? He gets out and he executes that woman in front of her three children. Her name is Kiera Benefeld, and she was only 30 years old. Beautiful lady. Here she is in her car in that picture. She was allegedly killed by the, her estranged hus husband. But what's interesting is she had this video of him beating her up. It yeah. was very brutal. In and the house. she posted it on there social media. And she said in the middle of it, I thought I was going to die. He kept saying he was going to kill me. So I posted the video. He gets arrested. But he, 24 hours after getting out of jail, because he was charged with these low, uh, like misdemeanors Misdemeanor. and low crimes, and uh, because of our bail laws here in New York, and they want to do this in other states, which is so mind boggling. They are doing it. They yeah. are doing it, yeah. In, in Chicago, they want to do this in, in, in that area. So what could she, go wrong? Right. She lives up in Buffalo. So he gets out and um, her mom is speaking to the press saying, now I'm raising these two beautiful children of hers. She asked for help. She thought that the government would put him behind bars. She thought our governor, uh, Kathy Hochul, would put him behind bars and he would stay there so my daughter, who's innocent, could stay safe. And that's not what happened at all. He immediately gets out and he goes and, uh, and allegedly murders her. Uh, execution style. Uh, it was totally predictable, preventable, but this woman was left vulnerable and the mom blames the governor. The governor was confronted with this yesterday. And here is a, here's a quote uh, from, uh, from the governor. The system absolutely failed her. The system has to work. Orders of protection have to be granted. Transitions homes have to be available. And we have to make sure that judges and prosecutors charge properly. Okay. Where are they, Governor? Where is this? Where are the no cash bail? When the mayor went up there to ask lawmakers to entertain rolling this stuff back, giving them more time to build cases, he was laughed at and pushed back. Where were you watching his back? Even though mysteriously the mayor's going to campaign with the governor today, uh, to me, this is a perfect opportunity uh, for her to point out her failings or where the system left out. She is the system, and she has to take this blame. Well, uh, she doesn't think it's important. Remember, she said to, to Lee Zeldin. I don't know why this is so important yeah, to you. Lock me, right. locking people up. Right. So Lee Zeldin was out yesterday. Every time there's a major crime, he goes there, talks to the people, and meets with the press. I don't care if three people show up with their iPhones. At the beginning, no one took him seriously. Now they do. Here's what he said about this. When the, you have to wake up to video pictures and stories of people being pushed in front of an oncoming subway car or a green goblin gang, uh, people are be getting beaten on a street. And it's not just inside of the city. You're seeing stories from across the state. Heck, I even had a gang-related drive-by shooting in my front yard a few weekends ago. It yeah. hits as close to home for all these New Yorkers who are hitting that breaking point. We're focusing on those issues. And Kathy Hochul doesn't want to talk about any of it. She wants us to just look away. There's nothing to see here. She's calling it a conspiracy, and even as you list actual factual data, she'll say that you're a data denier. And she said she doesn't understand why that is so important to me. And when she says she doesn't understand why that's so important to me, she's saying that she doesn't understand why that's so important to all sorts of New Yorkers. So she's really alienated herself, not just with Republicans, but Democrats and independents, too. And that's the key with independents, too, because according to the latest poll, the Trafalgar poll, uh, Lee Zeldin is actually up almost one point over the current governor who refuses to take, you know, the, the expression, the buck stops here, not with her. She's just kicking the can. It's the system. It's everybody else. Not my fault. Lee Zeldin, though, it, it, and he just pointed out the fact that he personally had been around crime in the last six months or so, uh, got the endorsement yesterday of somebody in Times Square that, you know, we see all the time because we work in the Times Square area. He's a guy by the name of Robert Burke. He used to come on this show all the time about 15 years ago. He's also known as the Naked Cowboy. He put together a song. He was singing it, and Lee Zeldin retweeted it, and here's a little taste of it. Lee Zeldin for governor of New York. This one-party Democratic rule clearly doesn't work. Gonna restore law and order, repeal the cashless bail, fire all the woke DAs who won't put these thugs in jail, reduce taxes and regulation, build the economy before more wealthy New Yorkers take their tax dollars and flee. Stop teaching CRT. 
gender fluidity, strip of math and science and the ABC. As I mean, the naked cowboy goes, so goes New York. Right. Uh, some people he think. He works out and he's pretty smart. Well, I will say this. He's the only person who gets undressed to go to work. Uh, imagine Even that. He's cold like, weather. I got to get don't, undressed. Right, I got to go outside. We don't know. We well, don't know what he does at We don't know. You see, the naked cowboy's never clothed. That's your thing. No, theory. he's uh, right there. He's wearing tidy whities as right. is described by the New York Post. Uh, it's just unbelievable. He will sit there like that in the winter, which I don't know how you do that. He absolutely does. Well, but he sees firsthand what's happening. I mean, Times Square, a lot of the stories that we report on, the subway system is there, very popular there, and we report on all these stories that happen in Times Square. It's like a block from us. Well, yep. uh, Governor crime. Cuomo also weighed in yesterday on John Costamitidi's podcast. He actually sounds like a Republican, even though he's the one who put this cash bail in place. He said, I don't know why the Democrats, and this is nationwide, uh, can't be more aggressive addressing crime. It's not just in New York. It's everywhere. They are pulled by the far left. They're afraid to say dangerous criminals have to be in jail. The Democrats are not hearing it. If they are hearing it, they're not responding to it. No kidding. We've been saying that every day. But the problem with Governor Cuomo is he has zero credibility because under him, this took place. But he, as the experienced politician, would have pivoted by now. Governor Hochul, all she does is stand by, sit behind closed doors and collect money. Yesterday, she got $25,000 from the liberal owner of the Knicks and Rangers in Madison Square Garden. People just, and the and DraftKings guy. She's like, I'm in trouble, need some more money, but she has no ground game and she's got no message. A terrible campaigner and can't draw a crowd. She's in trouble. Can you believe Pat Lynch, who represents all of these uh, law PBA. enforcement? Right. That he gave money to her campaign, and I asked he some did. officers, I said, Why do you think he did that? Because if she wins, she's going to need, we want to make sure that we get the support we need. Right, because but, she would renegotiate the contracts right. with the police. Right, but I can't, I, mean, she, I can't believe she's actually even neck and neck, because when you talk to anyone here, this is the number one issue. It's crime. Yeah, it, it absolutely is big, 